This is the Solar Nebula. It's how our solar system looked like about 5 billion years ago. Earth hasn't formed yet, but a giant storm is happening around the newborn star. This dust is gonna orbit the Sun for millions of years. Slowly, through collisions between dust particles, bigger rocks form. They continue to collide with each other, growing bigger, taking shape and thus forming hundreds of asteroids, comets, planets and among them Earth itself. About 4.6 billion years ago Earth has taken shape, but instead of our home, it looks more like hell. At this time, the Earth's atmosphere is entirely made of carbon dioxide with small quantities of methane, ammonia and water vapor. 4.5 billion years ago, a planet called Theia, the mass of Mars, hits the Earth. A vast amount of Earth's particles fly into space and for a long time those particles are going to orbit our world. But thanks to gravity, in a period of about 50 million years, these particles are going to collide and stick to each other, creating Earth's natural satellite, the Moon. During that period of time, Moon orbited the Earth at a distance of only 22,000 kilometers. A day was only 6 hours long. But after a while, our natural satellite got farther away from Earth and today it orbits us at a distance of about 384,000 kilometers. 3.9 billion years ago, the remaining parts left from the creation of our solar system have come to Earth and are continuously hitting our world. But these meteors are holding the basic ingredients for life on Earth. Crystals of water droplets are hiding inside them. After 20 million years of bombardments, rivers of water have formed. Earth's surface has cooled enough to allow the formation of continents. Now Earth is starting to look more like home. Remember that every sip of water, every pond and every drop of water in every ocean is billions of years old and might have traveled billions of kilometers inside a meteor to reach us. 3.5 billion years ago a new phase has started. Meteors that brought us water are now hiding something else. While these meteors are melting inside the Earth's waters, they are releasing their minerals. The amino acids taken from space are now transferring into the bottom of the ocean. These minerals and chemical substances somehow have joined together to form life. And this time, waters are filled with one-celled microscopic bacteria. These bacteria are the earliest form of life and for 2.5 billion years they are going to be the dominant form of life. 2.5 billion years ago, cyanobacteria, once called blue-green algae, are the first microbes which through the process of photosynthesis are producing oxygen. About 500 million years ago, Still, no creature exists. The reason is the sun's deadly radiation. But 50 kilometers above the Earth's surface, something really beautiful is happening. This toxic radiation is turning oxygen in a different kind of gas, called the ozone layer. This gas is sucking the toxic radiation and for about 1 million years the ozone layer gets thicker 
thus stopping the deadly radiation from reaching the Earth's surface. 470 million years ago, in an Earth saved from the ozone, we are witnessing the first plants, moss, and the first kind of fish called Agnatha. 370 million years ago, Tiktaalik, a kind of fish, becomes the first being that gets out of the water and for the first time it steps into the land. That happened due to its neck, which allowed this animal to get up and its wings acting as legs. From the first bacteria, through evolution, humans emerged.